This is a 2016 Victory Cross Country. I'm going to install uh, some lights on the crash bars. Uh, it's the Cirrus, I believe that's how you say it. It's uh, their LED lights. It comes in a package of two. They're, they're a little expensive for what you get, but they do look good. Um, so what you get in the package is you get the, um, the cover, and then there's a, a clear piece behind that, and then actually the LED strip. So what I've done just for placement, I've uh, already just pushed it on there to take a look at it to see how it's going to look. And you can bring them up, bring them higher. Uh, one of the guys on the forum said the only thing he uh, would have done differently was brought it up higher. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do at that point. I, I don't need it for extra lighting. Uh, so where I can see it's just to be seen type of lighting, extra uh, lighting there. So to install these, I'm going to add, there's a, uh, a key switch inside the fairing and uh, I'll take the fairing off we'll get to that and I'll show you where that is um, for this though to make it a cleaner install I'm going to actually drill into the crash bar and wire the wires all the way up through here so what I've done now is I've mounted the plastic covers uh, in an area where I think I am satisfied with where they'll uh, look good so at this point what I've done is I tried to make them as even as possible. I put a level across uh, the two of them and, and did the best I could with some help. And I put uh, just painter's tape on the bottom just to give me an idea so when they take them off I'll have very close to where we are supposed to be. Uh, I took a punch and what I did was uh, with the plastic on very carefully I took the punch, held it in there um, and, and knocked uh, the two holes on each side. So now I'm going to come back and drill those and tap them. And then according to the instructions, you come down, I think it was a quarter inch below this, and then that's where you uh, uh, drill the hole for the wiring to go through. Through. I'm trying to determine the best wiring routes for this. Uh, for my bars, it looks like I'm a, there's a hole at the bottom of the bars where it'll come out. I'll come behind uh, this black casing here, and then I'll try to put it back into um, the wiring, into this uh, wiring harness um, loom, is, uh, loom that I have here, and go up and attach it to that. That's, uh, that's the plan at this point. Now the tricky part is coming. So I've drilled uh, all the holes. I haven't tapped these yet. I'm going to, have to do that once I make sure that this fits in. So this is the LED board. And they give you plenty of line to where you can come down through here and, and come out. There's pl plenty of uh, cable, which is good, so there's be no splicing inside. So what I've done is I've got just actually, I, I wanted to be able to feed this uh, weed whacker cable through so then I can pull my wires uh, through instead of trying to force them down there. There's, they're so thin and light gauge that they don't go through there very well. So what I've done is push the weed whacker cable through or, or any even ever wire would be fine. And then my uh, board here at the end, there's a hole and you just try to feed this through enough that you can grab it. Just got to play with it a little bit. There it is. Well, I just pull it through. So now I'll cut this here. I'll tie my uh, wires onto the end of that, and I'll be able to pull it through. I've uh, drilled both holes uh, for the mounting. Uh, drilled and tapped them. I've also drilled a quarter inch hole. And it's half inch from the bottom because uh, that's the way I'm going to put it in. So what I've done, uh, like I was previously said, I've used the um, weed whacker cord and now I'm just going to feed it through. I deburred this uh, quarter inch hole just to make sure that it didn't uh, damage the wires. They just pull through real easy. They give you a nice long lead. They just go right through. They feed through very easy. It's already come through down here. And you just push them through so they don't pinch. You can feel them when they bind. And just keep pulling it through. So, okay, so I have it through. 
what you do is just put it in here like that. And then there's going to be a little slack in there so it can move around if I have to pull it out for any reason at all. I'll have that there. But then I'll put the cover on and then uh, I'll show you the rest if they want you to use some uh, RTB or 100% silicone. Put them on there and screw it on and uh, the mounting will be done. The next thing we need to do is bring these wires up and I might have enough that I don't even have to splice, bring it up into the fairing and hook into that uh, hot lead. I'm not sure yet how that's going to work. I'm still working on that part. So I've mounted the lights, I ran the wires through uh, the crash bar. So what I'm doing now is just temporarily wiring them up to make sure that the lights actually work before I go any further and hide all the wires. So uh, back to the switch lead, the, the hot wire is the yellow wire on, on this particular bike. The two white wires from each light, I've got it attached to that. The black wire is the ground, so both black wires are now attached to that. So I flip the switch, and uh, so they both work. So uh, now all I have to do is put the screws in, mount them permanently now, and run the wires, make them nice and neat, and button it back up. So what I've done now is I've got all the wires uh, from here. It's a black and white wire coming out from the light through the bar, and I have it through some protective uh, wire loom. Um, I took the side panel off so I was able to get to this. It doesn't look very pretty here, but once you put the side uh, covers back on, you won't even notice it. So this side panel will go back on, and it will cover that up along with the, the front uh, cowling. So the wires now I've got going to the other side. So when we come around to the other side, what I've done, I've put a uh, black and white wire, because I don't have yellow, so I sent a black and white wire back down through that I'm going to connect into to the uh, other wiring connections that I did for my horn before. So this is a, the protective covering for that and I'll zip tie this all back up together. So what I've done now, so I've got the, the, the power wires coming down and now it's just as simple as hooking all the whites together. So I've got these two whites together which are both of the white uh, wires for the light. And then I'm gonna put them in a butt connector. Just slide them in here like this. These are kind of neat butt connectors because they're also heat shrink. So you just put them in here and uh, crimp them down. So I have that side done. And now what I'm gonna do is put the, the white wire from up top put that in, crimp that also, once I get in the crimp spot, make sure it's in, crimp that down, and then I'll put some heat on it and it will shrink that up. And I'll do the exact same thing for the black wires, uh, all, them, all they will be put together also. And then I'll put the side panel on and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done there. Then when I'm done here and it's nice, uh, it looks nice and pretty, then we'll go back up and hook it into the, the main wiring. Okay, so as we're putting everything back together, uh, the light's installed, they work uh, perfectly, and I just wanted to show you how um, I was able to run the wire uh, through the pipe, come down, and as you come over here, you can see that uh, here's the, the black covering. So it comes out and then goes through here and on the, the front and that's where I have them wired together. But it doesn't look too bad coming out of there. You can't really actually see the wire so it, uh, it, it doesn't look bad. Or you could have even went with something smaller or no cover at all. The, the wires were so small you might not even seen them but uh, I just went a little overboard and did it that way. All right, so that's it. I didn't have to take the fairing off. I was able to go right through the window. So all I have to do now is uh, put the trim ring back on. And I'll show you what it looks like now with uh, both lights on. Turned out pretty good, I think. Uh, the only issue uh, that I had through this whole thing was when I 
tap this one screw here, uh, my tap actually broke and I had to drill that out and that was very painful, uh, took a while to do that. Luckily I had another tap and I was able to, to fix that, but uh, everything looks good. The screws that go into here, I only have one in so far on each side. The Harbor Freight tools that I have uh, for the Allen wrenches, I don't think they're, the tolerances are correct. So I'm going to have to try to buy a better wrench tomorrow. Or maybe it's the screws that came with the kit, I don't know either one. So I'll take those and figure that out. But other than that, everything is good. Looks good.